Hey guys, Yuvraj here from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of the Astra theme for WordPress. And today I'm here to demonstrate and tell you all about the brand new feature, typography presets in Astra 3.7 that we just recently shipped a couple of days ago. And you might already have watched a video from one of my team members, Yaz. He did a great video about explaining all the brilliant features that we've shipped in Astra 3.7. This video in particular is about the typography presets and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about that brand new feature. So let's get started by heading on to my computer. So we're inside the magical world of WordPress and what I've done is install a beautiful looking Stara template on my demonstration website. It's absolutely phenomenal. And if you're interested in knowing which of the Stara templates I'm using, it's actually the co-working space template and it's completely free in Stara templates. So you can use it on your website as well. Speaking about free, the typography presets options or the settings that I'm going to show you are available in the free version of Astra. As you can see, I have the free version installed as well. So let's start by going into the global settings first, because that's where the typography options are and by heading into the typography options. And inside the typography options, the first thing you'll notice is presets or typography presets. And you have six different presets to choose from. But before talking about the presets options, I want to quickly demonstrate the other typography options that you have available or have available on Astra or when you're using Astra. So let me scroll down a little bit and talk about the other options first. So first you have the option of customizing the fonts or typography for the body. That means the body text right here. You can choose a different kind of font. You can choose the variant of the font you like. You can choose the font, weight, size, transformation options, line height, paragraph margins, and other settings. You can do the same thing for headings, but the headings are a little bit different because you can have different kinds of heading on site. So you have the heading font family that you can choose right here, the variants, the uh, font weight, text transformation, and line height. But uh, if you want to change the specific, let's say the size of the headings, so you have in, or I say in-depth options of customizing those options for different kinds of headings. For example, right now the option I've selected is H1 by default, and the font family is coming in from the ma main settings, but you can also customize these options, or um, let's say you can change these options depending on how you want to customize your website. So you can change the font weight, text transformation options, and the size for all different kinds of headings. So H1 to H6, you still have the option of customizing the typography options. Right now, they're all set to inherit. That means all the options or the font family will be coming in from the main settings right here. All right, that's the typography options. These are important to consider or important to cover because there's something I want to clarify once we go into the typography options. All right, so coming back to the typography presets. Here are the six different typography presets that you have on every website that you build with Astra now. And the beautiful part is that you just have to make one click to change your entire website's typography. But first, before the demonstration, I'd like to clarify or I'd like to give you some insights on how you can choose a great looking font. For example, if I zoom in right here, you can see visually that each of the font uh, presets icons right here kind of give you an idea on what the font will look like. For example, you can kind of see that this is a serif with non-serif pairing. This is again, same thing. And then you have a serif with serif pairing. And if you hover over uh, any of these, uh, I'd say icons, you'll actually get to see the font names of the fonts in the preset. For example, if I do this, you'll, uh, you'll see what of the presets or what type of fonts are available in the preset. I can do the same thing for this one, the same thing for this one, same thing for this one, and of course the rest of the options well. Now let's do a quick demonstration. Let's say I want to change the typography preset for this website. So I'll, what I'll do is just click the button right here. And in just a second, the entire typography of my website has completely transformed into another beautiful looking website. So it's just a brand new identity on a beautiful looking template. Let's do this again. I'll click this one right now and you have a beautiful looking template once again. And that's how easy it is to customize typography on your website using the brand new typography presets with Astra. Now, one thing that I would look to, like to clarify for the reason, or that's the reason I showed you the other options. Sometimes when you use a starter template, you might notice that some or many of your headings don't actually react when you change the typography options. In this template, it works perfectly fine, but we have around 150, 200 different templates. So sometimes you might notice that you do this, but nothing happens on the headings. So I'd like to clarify why that happens and why it is a good thing. Now, our talented team of designers, the people behind these beautiful templates, take great care in crafting beautiful templates that you can use on your website. And it's not always possible to create beautiful templates in all scenarios that just use 
two different fonts. Sometimes they have to use more than two fonts. But as you see right here in the typography presets, just to keep things simple for everybody so that anybody can customize a beautiful looking website according to their needs, we've just included a preset that includes two different fonts. But what might happen is that you might be using a template that uses three different fonts. And how do you know that? What you can do is go to the heading settings right here, which I mentioned earlier. And if you scroll through all of these heading uh, types or heading options, H1 to H6, you might notice that one of the font families or one of the settings in the H or the specific heading that you see is not set to inherit. It might be set to a different font altogether. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Let's say if I go into H1 and instead of the inherit option, that means the, uh, this H1 taking its uh, font from the global settings right here, let's say I change it to Helvetica. You see the font changing right here. And if I go back now and if I change uh, the preset once again, You'll notice that the font size changed, but the font did not change. Let me just give you a confirmation for that. I'll choose this right here. And as you can see, the font is still Helvetica. So this is the kind of thing you might notice on your website if you're using a starter template that uses more than two fonts. Here, you have two options to choose. What you can do is if you want to use the same two fonts everywhere using the presets, then what you can do is just go back and set the option again to inherit. That means it will take or the Heading will now use the global typography options and you can use the presets or the other settings if you want to customize it or you can let it be if the font style matches the current design style that you want to choose. Anyways, the complete customization options for the website are available to you and you can customize and create a beautiful looking website with the typography options in Astra 3.7. If you have any feedback for this feature, make sure to leave in the comments. If you have any questions about this feature, make sure to leave that in the comments as well. I'll place some of the other Astra 3.7 videos which we just created on the screen as well so you can check them out. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this with someone if you think this might be helpful to them. You were watching and listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team, the Astra team, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.